Emma with the Media Watch, how are you? I'm good, uh, picking you. up on that Tech for Good summit which Yuka was talking about, Facebook CEO, Mr Zuckerberg, some are dominating things. <laughs> yes, absolutely. He is the man of the moment, even though he might not want to be in the spotlight in quite the way that he is right now. Uh, this is how the cartoonist, the French cartoonist Nah, has portrayed uh, the meeting between Mark Zuckerberg and Emmanuel Macron today. You've got uh, the French president there asking, can you make me win in 2022? Because, of course, one of the great controversies is, is Facebook allowing fake news and the like to actually influence uh, elections and democracy as a whole? Um, this tweet I liked because it just shows that however successful you are and however much money you have, you can still end up feeling a little left out. Uh, this person <laughs> saying, poor Zuckerberg, it reminds you of those evenings where you're desperately searching for your place. Now, of course, he has just come from the European Parliament um, where people really felt he was let off too lightly. Data breach today, who knew such a website existed, says that um, the session in Brussels turned into a somewhat frustrating flop and basically he recycled the material that we saw him use again and again when he appeared in front of US Congress. Uh, Giva Hofstadt is one of those uh, European politicians who is deeply unhappy that uh, Mr Zuckerberg got off so lightly. He says, how do you want to be remembered as one of the three internet giants together with Bill Gates and Steve Jobs or as a failed genius who created a digital monster destroying our democracies. Very strong words there indeed. Now back to the issue of tech for good. How is that being viewed? Well, it depends where you're looking at it from, it would appear. Um, La Tribune is a French publication and it says Macron's been accused of serving the soup to the uh, American net giants. Now that's a phrase that basically means he's been kissing up to them. Um, he's not really giving them a hard time. He's doing everything that they would like. And he's been criticised for not inviting some uh, key players in the French tech industry along to this uh, because he's been more interested in getting the uh, Americans in and getting their, their money, potentially. Voice of America, though, uh, has him taking rather a tough stance, saying he is taking on Facebook Zuckerberg in tech push. Uh, Liberation, though, has a very different take again. Um, this is an opinion piece by two charity workers, and it says, don't confuse being in the general interest with the generation of profits. And they say it's curious that with all this talk of a greater good, um, why is he speaking with those whose first thought is good for me? Indeed. Now, um, sad news today of the uh, passing of a uh, true giant of the world of literature, uh, Philip Roth, the American novelist, being remembered across the globe. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the French newspaper Liberation has come up with this as its front page for tomorrow. Uh, a slightly spooky looking shot almost of Philip Roth and the, he the headline is American Eros, uh, because of course he was renowned for writing some fairly racy, erotic uh, literature, shall we say. So they said he is the god of love, basically. Um, however, in this era, era of social media where everyone has an opinion, there are some who are saying things that are less than complimentary. Colin Dickey is a writer. He says, uh, you can eulogise Philip Roth and still point out the deeply misogynist sense of male sexual entitlement that runs through the vast majority of his writings. Uh, I loved this particular response from someone who says, laughing my ass off, a pygmy pontificating about a giant. Of course, talking about that writer of no comparable reputation, shall we say, uh, having the nerve to say that sort of thing about the great Philip Roth. Um, this is one of my favourite pieces. Lots of people talking about their favourite works. This gentleman says that his greatest work since The Human Stain was this furious open letter that he wrote to Wikipedia, which you can still find in all its glory on the New Yorker website. It is absolutely wonderful. You must have a read of it. And um, basically, he couldn't make a correction to his site because he was told Roth was not a credible source. I understand your point that the author is the greatest authority on their own work, uh, but we require secondary sources. So Roth was not good enough for them. That is absolutely hilarious. Uh, may he rest in peace. Uh, but his work, of course, lives on. Emma James of Media Watch, thank you very much indeed. Yuka with the business, thank you too. And thank you for watching. Stay with us, more to come here, live from Paris.